Hello everyone, this is Payan. Welcome to Undesign channel. So in this video, we're going to cover a quick update from Figma that lets us scope our color variables. So this is going to be a quick one. Um, th this feature was added recently. If you haven't updated your Figma, please do to make sure that it appears on your variables. So what it does is basically makes the variables um, more organized and lets you one of the features actually lets you filter out the, the variables that you don't need when like adding a stroke, adding a fill color, adding a text color. So in order to demonstrate that, what I'm going to do is basically again open my local variables, go to my tokens. By the way, if you haven't checked the videos on how to create these variables, please do. I put a link on the top right corner and also I'll put a link to the playlist down in the description. And yeah, let's go to the tokens that we created. And on the colors, you can see that we have um, we have divided all the uh, colors that we need. For example, the grayscale, primary, secondary, error, warning, and success. You can group them however you want, however it fits your project. But this is the way we grouped it for our design system. And for the grayscale, and each of those colors have surface colors, border, and text and icon. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to scope actually the, the colors uh, manually. And then when you are designing something and you want to use a color, for, let's say for the border, then the surface color won't show up, which is going to make it super easier for us. So let's go and test it. So this is the surface color for the grayscale. What I'm going to do is go to the, you know, go hover over the default subtle, the first one, and hit the edit variable icon. And then in the color scoping, you can see that we have um, some new some new stuff here going on. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to uncheck the text from the fill color and uncheck the stroke. And in order to test it, let me close it. Let's create, um, actually, let's go ahead and apply it to all the colors of the grayscale. So I'm not going to do it for the stroke and text. Same here, and same here. All right, let's close it. So this is a grayscale surface. And if I want to set um, a color of the grayscale, I can basically go to the fill color, find the surface. And you can see that it, on, the, on, on the fill, it says, colors grayscale surface I can go with default light something like that but if I go to the stroke and find surface you can see that uh, the grayscale is filtered out filtered out if I do the same for the primary secondary surface there is not going to be any of them here and you can only see um, the border colors which you want and then you want to disable the border colors for your surface actually the surface for the fill and text so I'm gonna pause the video here and I'm gonna do that and come back and show you what it does all right uh, I finished the, the grayscale for this video so I'm gonna show you how you can actually apply colors actually color tokens to your um, component so let's go ahead and test it uh, I created a button a simple button and then I want to apply a fill color to it so I'm going to hit this style icon, I'm going to find grayscale, and as you can see, the text and border has been, uh, actually they have been filtered out, and the only thing that I can see for the fill color is the surface, which I uh, applied on the variables. So let's go with the default light, and then maybe I want to add, this. actually that's too dark, too dark, yeah. Maybe I want to add a stroke to the color, to the button. So let's go uh, on the stroke section here and then hit the style icon and find grayscale. And as you can see, again, the text and surface colors are filtered out. And I want to go with default dark, something like that. And then let's select our text and let's go to the fill color and hit the style icon and find grayscale. And as you can see, the surface and um, stroke are filtered as well so let's go with title something like that alternatively you can do that to your to all the variables like um, numbers as well 
so let's go ahead and open our local variables let's go to the dimensions find spacing or let's go to the corner radius for example so I'm gonna select these um, hit edit and I want to um, uncheck um, the width and height gap and text content for my corner radius so whenever I want to set um, a corner radius uh, I also I need to um, uncheck these uh, uncheck corner radius for the spacing so for example this is 4xs and if I want to set the corner radius here from the variables you can see that 4xs is filtered out and if I do this for all of the spacing variables here the whole um, this whole group is gonna get disappeared which is what I want because I want to see the corner radius only and vice versa if I want to like uncheck corner radius for other variables I can do that so yeah that is a quick that's a quick update from Figma to keep everything organized and I think it's super cool and uh, I believe that in future it the the structure of creating variables is gonna get um, refreshed and again we need another course on how to create variables properly but yeah that's it for this video thank you for watching please leave a like subscribe to the channel and make sure to check out all the other videos about how to create a complete design system from scratch and i'll see you on the next one cheers